This is story for Steven! Um, hopefully this is the right order, because I'm looking at Wikipedia and then I'm looking at Amazon. Amazon has them, like, 100% backwards. This is really slanted. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so this is the story of, uh, how Steven's dad met Steven's mom, and this manager that seemed... It's How I Met Your Mother, only... Yes. Only 15 right minutes. Ending. Yeah, 15 minutes long without a shitty ending. <laughs> um, I don't even know the ending of the show. I just know everybody hates the ending. Um, I, the ending of the show is about... I, know, I think I've maybe seen a dozen episodes because my wife liked it. I hear it's so, the biggest fuck you to it. Yeah, audience, like having, having not seen the whole show, I still somehow knew that this ending blew. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like... Wait a second. Like, that's like, not the right... I had to keep asking my wife questions. I'm just like, so it's been following these two people all along, but and she's like, yes. I'm like, that makes no sense. And she's like, and you didn't even watch the show. <laughs> uh, but anywho, we're talking about this one. Uh, and the uh, manager who seemed relatively pointless. I mean, the story's supposed to be about him, and it's not about it's how they met. And he it's was... like... Really he, a douchebag. Yeah, like, I mean, he just seems like a totally pointless douchebag character who's barely in it, which I didn't mind because he's so unlikable, but the only thing I can figure is maybe they're going to bring him back for something or he's going to come back as an enemy. But yeah, just looking at the whole thing, I'm like, hey, you, you got to cut him out pretty easily. It's like, well, it's about, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this version, but now I'll tell you the version with my manager in it. And it's like, I, I think you could have told the version without the manager, honestly. <laughs> Don't think we miss that much. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so in... Well, I guess maybe the point is sometimes even idiots and jerks find ways to steer you towards happiness. So. Yeah. No, there, there, there's... It's uh, it's possible. Um, when, uh... The cool stuff about it... I mean, it's nice to see them meet. I'm actually... The two things I see so rarely done well are, you know, is horror, like, legitimately scary horror, and uh, romance. Like, legitimately, hey, I feel something for these two people, romance. So, when I see something do it relatively well, and I, I like it, um, it does seem like, again, kind of a Disneyism, like, he's just ready to throw everything for this woman like he just met. Um, but, again, I think that's kind of, like, just the kids' show angle. Um, but, I don't know, I would like to see it develop a little bit more, but I, they had chemistry, which I like. I like it when these two people meet and they have this chemistry, um, you know, giving up your whole life for it, that's a different story, but, um, but I do like it when they have chemistry. So, and we got to see more of the, uh, the gems clearly before they know anything about people, they call them it, um... <laughs> And uh, Amethyst looks I like, like how a they, kid. Looks like a yeah, little kid. Yeah, I like how they all seemed younger, even though Pearl had kind of a different hairstyle. She had and, kind of the 80s yeah, hair. Yeah, Amethyst, Amethyst seemed younger. Yeah, Garnet looked pretty much the same, but mm -hmm. looked like maybe she had slightly different hair. I don't yeah. know. But. Well, and I like they're even more... I mean, we always talk about how aggressive they are to anything new. You see, even to humans, that, you know, squash it, throw it back over the fence, you know, get rid of it, you know, and they're just so hostile against them, um, it, which, again, is just so interesting. I love my like favorite little moment was it. when uh, Rose was just like, space is his, like, gimmick thing. Like, yeah, <laughs> and Pearl just, she, like, <laughs> they think they know about space. Well, and, and even then you sort of see kind of like that, jealousy starting to you know i can sing you know they all kind of laugh um so again there's already a little bit of that hostility starting between them well hey isn't that interesting too okay so amethyst now is since we see she was a kid around that point you know whatever they wherever they dug her up literally mm -hmm. um you know at a younger age so maybe when steven's dad and her were hanging out like she was still a kid which would make the connection even more oh uh, it's her first crush <laughs> maybe i don't know or, or even kind of like an almost father figure or something like that because again we don't know i don't know like, it was kind of hard to tell is. because i have to remind myself how huge rose is like i'm not really talking about with just her height yeah. So that when they all of them, <laughs> yeah, when all of them were together, like Amethyst seems so small. But then, I don't know. Like I'd have to no, look at it. Yeah, she's already pretty she short. Actually she's still taller. Than, she's kind of hiding okay. behind Pearl. Pearl kind of carries her and stuff. No, like that. It definitely. I mean, it, it's yeah, a kid. Yeah. I, I can't get the age. I don't know if it's well, like. Yeah, I always forget how tall Rose is. Like when they're all together, I'm like Jesus. <laughs> well, what I like too. This is the first time we've seen Rose like actually like. Hey, we're gonna show you what she said in the scene. It's not like hey, here's 
a video cassette, here's a hologram projection or anything like that. It's here's what she was actually saying and doing and stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, exactly. I mean, it's not like Stephen's dad was telling this, so it was all from his point of view. Okay, it's still <laughs> very much, there's no... There's no other kind of filter there in terms of, like, what you're visually I, seeing or I, I anything like you, that. I know what you, you know mean. mean though. Um, yeah. Also, it's... Was it me or is that opening song, like, that really was awesome. kind of nice. That's a nice I, song. Yeah, I was <laughs> just, like, is I was almost in a strange way hoping this was going to be one long music. Yeah, that's what I was hoping, too. Like, the whole thing was just going to be a song. <laughs> like, when it went went to the straight lace kind of show part, I'm just like, oh, that's cool and all, but I... Yeah, it would have been cool if it was a song. Totally I mean, that, would have, like done the song <laughs> yeah no i mean it's like that's that's a lot of work i'm not gonna be like what's wrong with you lazy it's like no no i, I get it that's a lot of work um but yeah i actually really legitimately like that opening song um and i mean it looks like you know it's in the 80s i mean it looks pretty 80s ish or you know maybe early 90s but i don't know the hairstyles and stuff still look pretty 80s so i mean that would indicate even more i mean because obviously time has yeah, passed for well, him well i mean yeah but here's the thing steven's only what 12 something like that but again we don't even know did he like we don't come even as know a baby what... or whatever but but okay you look at the father though i mean he's balding so years have passed I don't and so know that if looks about was... the amount of time like I, present yeah, time yeah, yeah but i don't <laughs> But if he's 12, that means he... Well, how long did they, they know each other before they had Steven? Like, that's I don't know, but the, here's the thing. I, Steven I, could be born at that age or could be made at that age. I mean, because it's half Rose just kind of doing whatever she wants, I, you know, so... I don't know. I um, It doesn't seem like they've established where chrono chronologically this is, like... I kind of just feel like well, this no, but is the father See, vaguely. That's, that's the thing. I mean, he's obviously not super old. He's balding and stuff, but he's not super old. So I mean, the eighties. I mean, it seems like I guess either present yeah. time or like ten years from something like that from present time. I mean, here's the problem. I get a vague eighties feeling from the entire show. Yeah. So it's hard to be like, oh, well, that's the eighties and this is present. I mean, the whole the whole thing is like a pan eighties seventies kind of. Color scheme and character design and, and like so and I I don't know if it's really saying when and where this is supposed to take place. Like I mean if I mean maybe yeah, it said somewhere kind of true. it's twenty fifteen or I met your mother in nineteen eighty five. Like No, I, but but you're kinda right. Like even the, the styles and the fashion, it's like it looks eighties, but yeah. you're I mean, it right. Looks, that, that could be the eighties. It looks whole, very much to me feels 80s like, anyway. 80s and 70s, yeah. Yeah, like, literally probably, like, 1980 or 81, like, still in that 70s, kind of, like, it, it's got that old-school vibe to all of the character, like, mm. design and backgrounds and the I mean, like, kind of like the rock band, heavy metal and stuff like that. I mean, that that was looking, like, mid-80s, at least, for him. Um, so, but you're right, everything else sort of has, like, a 70s, 80s, kind of 90s feel, too. They may have been going specific for, for the 80s, but I don't know if it... You're right, they never specifically say, because with this time period... The, the way creators feels, and the animators be. and the story writers may have been going for the 80s, because that's when they grew up, but, I mean, I, I don't think it's ever specifically said, now we're in the 80s. Well, and, and we know, like, we're, it, we're, wherever they're traveling, it's Earth. It's, you know, because they say they never leave the galaxy or going through, right? You know, all those places are on Earth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, either they're finding these places that, for some reason, are uncharted, or something has happened to Earth, you know? So that's what I'm curious about. Um, but, yeah, there's, again, all these little clues and stuff like that, uh, to a puzzle I'm not smart enough to put together yet. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it, it's nice seeing more Rose in it, it's, um, uh, it's nice seeing a little bit more of Stephen's dad when he was younger and stuff, so, uh... I got way more plot in this, where Rose was concerned, like... Yeah. So, I totally appreciate that. Um, and it's interesting, you wonder why she showed up to that concert at all since she was the only one um well they know. were on the beach she may have just been standing outside like yeah, on, a, no on a cigarette break or something been like the <laughs> hell <laughs> she's smoking a rose <laughs> smoking a flower or something um but uh oh, that looks like fun <laughs> But, uh, wouldn't it be great if you have, like, Rose, just this really nice, beautiful design and everything, and she sounds like this. <laughs> Steven, you gotta be wonderful. <laughs> it's something out of the critic. I'm up to 12 packs a day. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. I, uh, anything else you got? No, actually, uh, you pretty much covered everything. Thanks a lot. Cool. Okay, you want to start the next one? You want to start it? Because you're always like, you stole everything. No. You stole everything. No. Why do I even have you? No. You are useless. I... Useless. Wow. Useless. Well, I mean,
mean, if that's the way you feel, I won't show up for the next one. <laughs> ah!